and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is Christmas, December 2019, and uh, yeah, I decided to get out here to the McDade Park. Gonna throw a little disc, play some disc golf, and uh, show you a little bit of how bad I suck. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's take you through the adventure and see if I can get any nice shots out here. I'll see you guys around the trail. As you can see, this is the course we are playing today. McDade Park. It's actually a nice course, not bad. Um, some challenging holds, some some tight shots, couple par fours. Um, if you haven't been up to Montgomery County and uh, tried this course, uh, you should check it out. Anyway, let's get to it. All one, 347 feet. Not bad, first throw. Let's get the round going. Now I'd like a little more uh, distance there, but we're just warming up. Don't want to push the arm too much. I've had a little bit of a rotator cuff thing and I just don't have time to go get it, uh, you know, repaired and I'm not some big time athletic you know whatnot but uh, yeah so not bad we're in position we'll take it Par on one. Let's head to the next hole. Hole two, as you can see, it's a little tight window. It's about 238 feet, it says. I think it plays a little bit longer. Come on. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a nice little turnover. Got through clean. Yeah, it looks like they uh, took a tree down or cleared this way out. Like, I don't know if any of you play up here in McDade, but this wasn't like this last week. They, uh, they definitely cleared this out a little bit better. Just right. One of the easier holes, well, especially now that it's cleaned out, to one of the, personally, I think one of the more technical holes. Um, it's par three, almost 400, a lot of trees. Um, to deal with and uh, straight is the way to go of course I'm I have not the best uh, um, throw to keep it straight but we'll we'll see three hundred ninety six feet par three. It kind of goes straight for about 370 of it, and the basket is just around, just around to the right. Oh, 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 oh what a shot! <laughs> oh man, that went around that tree. That was clean. Let's go see where we landed. Should be sitting right in the middle somewhere with the 
chance for a good second shot. I have rarely parred this hole maybe one time. But that disc was beautiful, guys. Probably my best shot on hole three. Uh, pretty dang amazing. There she is. As you can see. And the basket is right there. I mean, right there. This is maybe a maybe 110 feet 100 feet ah, i threw too hard come back ah. <laughs> okay there she is there's the basket i don't really think i have a putt yeah and this is why I always bogey this hole or get a double bogey. Let's get in there and see if I have a shot to the basket. That'll work. Let's head over to hole four. Uh, it's, uh, if I turn the disc over too much, I will end up in the river. But for me to get as much distance as I can, I need to turn it over a bit. So, let's just, uh, beautiful out here. Let's just um, throw this Real nice and easy. Try to keep it out of the river. And see how we do. Before I throw, um, I don't have a big arm speed and I tried for more control than distance. I am throwing the uh, west side uh, disc stag. Um, it's good for uh, with the wind shots or turnovers, but for me, uh, I don't know. I just love this disc and it works. So, <laughs> yeah, that's in the river. Like I said, it's in the river. I might have lost a disc. All right, I got my waterproof shoes on. Hopefully it's not too deep over here. And that's what happens when I, instead of throwing with control, I try to muscle up to get a little more distance. As you can see, this is about 400 something feet or four, right around 400, 399. Uh, we'll take a look over here. Yeah, I think it's down there. Oh, what am I doing? It's over there what I'm going to attempt to do. Hey, my friend John would be happy, proud. There it is, over there. It's almost impossible to see. Let's see if I can zoom in. Right, it's there. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna have some mud to get through. Let's just uh, take off the socks and the shoes, hike up the shorts, and work my way across, okay? All right, got it. <laughs> Not losing our disc today, but I am gonna be throwing three. Uh, basically, it went out of bounds, so I got a count of stroke. All right, definitely not the start I wanted. Uh, I know it's only the fourth hole. Throwing great, control throws, and then this one I muscle up. Always gets me, but hey, you got the disc back, that's what you do. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can recover walk 
got a putt. Just hoping that would flip over. Where is she at? It's a putt, not where I want it to be. I want to release a little more left. Double bogey. I love this next hole. Same thing, I gotta be careful with the turnover, but uh, basically a wide open shot. I just want to make sure I don't turn it over too much. Hole five. Three hundred twenty-eight yards or feet. Uh, I think it really plays like three eighty. Um, but uh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I'm thinking that the uh, the course wants me to lose a disc today, but I'm just not doing it. Alright, that's fine. A little too far right, but nice little hazard. And again, another penalty stroke. <laughs> so there I'm sitting three. Not the greatest sub shot, but almost right out of bounds again. What a good save. We'll take it. We'll take the four. And on to hole six, let's go. Six, 426 basically I just want to put a shot near that inlet to the left so I can have a good approach here's a par 3 a little long for me but let's see what we can do a little high a little Hyzered out, but I'll take it. Not out of bounds this time. <laughs> Man, it's gorgeous out here. Conroe, Texas, just north of Houston. Uh, it's going to be 72 today or something. Not a cloud in the skies, just some small overcast. Let's see if I can make a good approach. Not the longest shot on this hole I've had, but uh, kind of where I want it to be. Just uh, to the right, to the left, I'm sorry, of that little inlet right there. Ah! <laughs> uh. Well, that sucked. Kind of like a death putt. It's, it's, it drops off in the back about two feet, you know. Um, but I do like it. It's a nice little challenge. I ideally I had the distance. I just had to be had to throw it more level. Hole eight. Uh, kind of my nemesis, as you can see, it's a tight window. 
it curves around to the right and basket is way back there now this one I do want a little turnover but not too much so let's uh, let's see what we can do come on turn ah. oh the tree gods today oh that was thrown so well if it would have turned over a little bit more, I would have been through that gap. I don't get it. I left the house with a full battery this morning, not thinking I would need two. We've made it to hole nine. Uh, this video or vlog will be uh, just of the um, first nine holes at McDade. Most of it was me in the woods and or in a river. Uh, so, uh, amateur disc golf, right? Um, not too bad. A few pars, bogeys, one double. Uh, that's about my average. Um, usually play McDade about plus 10 somewhere around there. I think right now we're sitting uh, plus five uh, So right on par for the course um, But yeah um, Hole nine try to bring it to you here if I can get it on this video. I'm switched over to my phone uh, But Merry Christmas to everybody if you like these videos and like kind of seeing what I'm doing out and about uh, basically uh, go ahead and uh, share like and subscribe. I appreciate that um, yeah, so let's continue, show you here the hole. Here's hole 9, 239 feet. Um, it looks more open on the picture, but as you can see over here, it is not. Uh, basically, there's two ways to approach this hole. I like going just to the right of that tree if I can hold that line and then have a hyzer. Um, as you can see all the way back there is the basket if you can get the inside Lane and not play Plinko off the trees then you know you have a better shot But I like this outside lane and with the nice hyzer uh, But we're not going to try to turn this over and let's see if I can get the shot for you. I Don't think I'm gonna get the shot anyway Well, I'll show you the end result until then have a Merry Christmas all right, so we didn't get very far as you can see because I hit this tree I thought it was gonna make the gap but I did just make an awesome putter approach we'll save this par as we can see we'll walk right up here and not too bad got it right between the two trees here nice little layup We'll go ahead and hold the uh, hold the camera. And the putter I use actually is a Nova XT. It's more of a driving putter, but I like the feel of it. A little heavy. And let's see. Spot on. And that's a par. Anyway, I appreciate y'all coming along on my Christmas day. Uh, love to be with the family this time of year, but we all live all over. And you know, I reached out to them all, so. But uh, gorgeous day out here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the next nine, but I just want to bring this nine to y'all and uh, throw them long and straight, guys. Subscribe, like, share, I appreciate it. And uh, see you around for more vids from the life of Riles.